front to begin to drift south and eastward. The what a beautiful day. So it's Sunday today. Um, let's see what's been going down on the allotment this week. Well, another week and um, not much. I've uh, been busy again. Um, not here. So, um, plus Kim's been um, poorly all week, so she's not up with me today either. So, uh, the days I've been able to come up, it's um, weather's not been too great. So, I've thought I'd do some things in the shed to get a shed prepared for the, for the winter. Um, had some flooring uh, that you may have heard me mention. Uh, it's all uh, tongue and groove. So, it's either oak or some other nice wood that I found on the uh, on our new allotment. So, I thought I'd come up here and, um, and lay it. I was going to take it home at first and uh, rub it all down and then varnish it up but I thought well I may as well get it down because then I can come up here with a sander and it would be easier then. So it should look really nice. Hey, who else has got a floor like that in there? A lot of shed, eh? Uh, the other job I've done was um, I've gone round and uh, put silicon sealant in all the, uh, in all the feather boards because um, the other week we come up here and um, I found out that under the box we had a uh, big infestation of um, wood lice. Loads of them in there and uh, you can still see it's getting a bit damp in there. Uh, so they were on a field day. So I thought well we've got to stop it, we've got to stop them from getting in. So uh, I've sealed up all the, all the joints, all the holes where they've been getting in from so that's sort of stopped them. Uh, and done everywhere. Uh, ooh. That's right, it's not much of a gap there anyway. So that's uh, what I've been doing over the days. Like I say, we had a big gap there. <laughs> so we've got no more gaps. So um, the spiders are sort of vacated and the wood lice, which is good. And then obviously with the, the knots where it's leaking through, um, obviously I'm going to paint the shed and uh, that will then seal it all up so uh, it'll be good over the winter period and obviously with all the gaps sort of sealed in now it should be that little bit um, a bit warmer so that's what I've been primarily doing uh, I've done a little bit I'll take you down and let's get a look right so you can um See, I've made a start past this plum tree, um, cutting the bushes back. Uh, but it is like I say, the, the, the more we expose, the more rubbish we're finding. Um, there's just loads of it. As you can see, I've still not done the scrap man. Because, um, like I say, I've uh, not been able to sort of plan a full day where I've been up here where I can phone him up to come up so I can meet him here. Uh, we had a bit of a burn going on, uh, obviously with all the bushes, because this was all uh, blackberry bushes here, it was all hanging over. We've cut them right back, and you can see where Kim's little bit is, how far they'd come out. So, you know, you can go back another, what, four or five foot there. And uh, down the bottom, um, I've got the head strimmer up today, so hopefully I'll be able to just cut that back a bit, square it off a bit, and we can still go back. Uh, you can see the fence right back there. See it? So we've got another, well, four, but Kim wants to keep the blackberry bushes, but like I say, we've got a lot of metals here we've exposed, so I'm going to take them back. Probably go back to the fence now. Uh, may as well just completely chop all this out, and Kim can just have that as our blackberry bushes then. So I'll leave that hanging over and maintaining. Look, there's another um, compost bin there we've exposed and uh, obviously if you have a look in there's more rubbish and uh, yeah it's like you say once if we take this back you're just gonna find more and more and more rubbish and you come over here you can see um, there's a so there's someone's shed there 
and this would all be my um, my neighbour's plot which is just right the way through blackberry bushes so he's lost quite a lot of his allotment to this uh, there's a great big drum in there and lots of other rubbish so um, yeah so we're we are getting there slowly it's just been very slow this week um, so you can see that obviously the plot has got so much bigger uh, obviously the, the other thing I'm going to encounter is obviously with the step with the different heights in allotments I've got to have a quite a substantive retaining wall to stop that coming through obviously when it starts getting a little bit wet so I've yet to decide what I'm going to do um, I suppose I could try and break that uh, that toilet down and they obviously with the walls of that that might be able to retain this lot sort of push it all back to stop it from coming this way uh, but yeah that's uh, something a little bit further on down the road uh, but I'm still finding these uh, and they are dug right into the ground I don't know what they were for because obviously they are really flimsy so they, they can't have been retaining anything um, I don't know it's like I said there was one there I've pulled one out that was here and they just went all the way up as I was pulling out but you could, you got to snap them off because you just they just go down so far like this one here Here's one here. Yeah, there's another one. Bizarre. Bizarre. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I've um, taken the other panels off the fence as well. That was another job that I'd done. So they're single now. And since of doing that, a lot of stuff to mark them up. Um, just put little scratchy numbers on them, so I know how many I've got. Because uh, someone's been stealing my wood. I wouldn't mind if they'd been taking it off the the dead wood pole, but they've been taking it from here, and I've had some really really nice pieces that I was um, going to use as uh, borders in the greenhouse, and they've now gone. So I'm quite upset about that. Because, like I said, there's been a lot of work that's gone into this. And uh, you know, in some, someone's just come up here and just stolen, well, just helped themselves some more wood, which is annoying. Which is annoying uh, because down in Wollston, which isn't too far away from me here, there's a, um, uh, a wood recycling place, and uh, you can go down there, and a lot of their wood is free. You know, you get pallets and uh, uh, off cuts, and you know, some very lovely bits of wood, and they're free. You know, but you get some, oh, I don't know, they're just annoying. Why? I don't know. Because that's where I'm going to be going anyway, to get a lot of my wood for the fences anyway. It's just people can't, people can't be bothered, they're lazy. Right, back to the shed. All right, as I said, uh, Kimmy's not up here today, which is a shame. Um, so I do miss her company. Uh, but it can't be out. Um, but I was talking to um, Hoshi last week, uh, Mac, or Marcus, or Tomato Seed, else, else I know him, on, uh, on, uh, on another feed. The man of many names, Marcus, Mac. Um, obviously out in Germany they do, uh, well he's a, um, he's a um, uh, coordinator for, uh, for Seed Bank, for a Seed Bank that, um, sort of runs out in Germany and um, obviously he's got a list of name and addresses and uh, he coordinates where the box goes so he sends out a box of, um, of seats uh, from, uh, from a, you know he's got seats from all around the world he sort of sends them out sends the box out uh, to, the, to the person on his, on his list they uh, take out what they need and then they maybe they they, they put in uh, seeds that they've got that might not be in the box, and then um, they then send it off to the next person on the list, and, um, and Mac um, sort of cords it so he knows where the box is all the time, and he can track it, and uh, it quick, quickly zips round 
you know, all through this community and I think she's out to Poland and uh, uh, Sweden and Denmark and uh, it sort of goes out and everyone gets all these seeds and they're putting in and then it comes back to him and then he, he goes through it and itemises it and then it, it, it goes out again and well it's not in use, he, he's, the, um, he's, the, he's the bank, the seed bank, so what it costs is the, um, is the postage on to the next person. I thought, well, that's a really, really good idea. And he's talking to me about it. He said, um, um, perhaps it's something that we could do in the UK. Uh, and then later on, sort of have it where, um, you know, it sort of becomes the box can go over to him and he can go on to others and come back. And so then we would, um, we'd have an explosion of uh, all these explosion <laughs> of all these uh, seeds. And like he said, it's, um, you know they're not. Uh, they're all uh, from, uh, from 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 uh, allotment gardeners like ourselves. As he said, says, it um, sends it with a with a lot of love. Um, obviously, in the corner, um, there's a. a I'll just pop here uh, the, the message he sent me. You can see his box because he's got loads and loads of seeds. Hey mate, um, I want to show you my my seed box. There are loads of boxes in there with seeds and seeds and seeds. And a few days ago, I got another box with seeds and seeds and seeds. Oh, wait, ah, come on, really? Get up. So, with loads of more seeds. And the next day is coming up more and more and more of that packages so I can collect them take a look which one is a doubled or tripled here and then we start a bigger box to send around from A to B yeah? uh, so uh, yeah everyone can catch up some seeds what he need and maybe place some new place some new in there yeah, so have fun. So, what would be your thoughts on it? If it's something that uh, you think is good, then let us know in the comments below and uh, we'll see if we can get something going. Because, like I said, I've got all these seeds that um, Oshi sent me. Uh, you can see back in the previous video uh, where I go through them. And I didn't go through obviously all the chili plants and the tomato, well, especially the tomato, but there's so many varieties of tomato plant now. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be using all of them seeds, so you know I could start a box up myself and put what we aren't going to use this season in there, and then send it off, and then people could take what they wanted. Then, if you know they've got uh, a reserve of seeds uh, that they've um, that they've cultivated uh, at the end of this season or seasons past, and they can they can add them on. We can grow the box. Um, so yeah, let us know in the comments below, but. Uh, that's about it for today. Um, like I said, I've not really done much. I'm just going to go and do a bit of hedge trimming, and then I'm going to go back home and see um, see Kim because I expect she's laid up on this cup of tea. So, uh, so sorry it's been so long, but I'll try now. Uh, we're going to try. And, well, she definitely wants to come up this week. If she can't, then I'm coming up this week anyway. Uh, cause I've got a bit of spare time because uh, I was busy all last week. Because like I said, I do um, quite a lot of volunteering. Uh, so I've been doing a lot, of, a lot of bit of volunteering work last week, just uh, bombing here, there and everywhere for a local charity. Um, so, uh, so yeah, definitely, definitely be happy this week, so be, uh, hopefully we'll be able to move on a little bit further, weather permit, and uh, try and dig up that new allotment, try and get it going. So, um, until, uh, until that video, <laughs> have a good one. And um, we'll see you, uh, see you next week. Bye-bye.